Hi, guys. Welcome back to the Blondest Podcast. I'm your host, Savannah Boda. And I'm your co-host, Tyler Jacoby. We're so excited to be here for another Monday. I'm hungover. Tyler is sick. So it's a really fun episode mm-hmm. today. We're, we're pulling through. We're pulling through. So we want to give you guys a little recap of us in L.A. We had such a good time. It was me, Tyler, and Maria. And I fell in love with L.A. Like I could live there. Oh, yeah. No, I, I was ready to, like, come home and just pack our bags. Mm-hmm. And Like, we loved it so much, we stayed an extra day. And that never happened. Well, that does happen, actually. We do quite that quite often. often. <laughs> I'm like, that My never M.O. is always, if I get there and I like it, I add days on. Yeah. Because you never know how you're going to, like, you know, there's nothing worse than, like, not being able to leave a trip when you want to leave. So it's good to, like, book it shorter. And then, like, if you decide, I really enjoy the vibes, like, I really like it here, then you can stay. Mm-hmm. But so this was the last stop of our 2024 masterclass tour with Skim Better. And it was the best one. It really was. Which is so funny because I thought that I did the worst, but everyone on Team Skin Better, um, my, I guess you could call them colleagues, like my friends that spoke with me, like Katie yeah. and Candace, and everyone was like, this was like your best one. But I just kind of black out when I get on stage sometimes. And like, I know what I'm saying. I just like, once I get off stage, like, it's just such like an adrenaline rush. I forget like how it went. Mm -hmm. And I had like a lot of anxiety, I think, more for this one because just, I don't know. I just did. I think there was just a lot more pressure. There were like a lot of like really prominent estheticians in the audience and Um, all like people that I get along with and great, but I just like wanted to like obviously impress them and do like really well. And then Jonah, yeah, Shaq Shaq Nye was there. there. He's like the founder of Skin Better. Um, but it went really well. It was a good day. The food at the hotel was so fucking good, guys. Like honestly, best room service I've had in my entire life. We stayed at the Mayborn. Mm -hmm. Um, and they have really cute art there too. I'm going to be like going in circles today. I'm just very tall. I've been a yapping mood lately. But um, the dogs in L.A. are fucking stunning. The homeless men in L.A. could get it. Yeah, I know. I remember we were walking. We were walking to dinner our first night. And I was I was like, how are even the homeless men here? Like, like cute. Like they could get scouted. No, for sure. I was like, OK. And like, I feel like that's always kind of been my type is like ratty looking men like that. So I was like interesting but um what else the food was great the vibes were good the weather was amazing um we went to air one i it was okay i don't think it was like i don't think it's worth the hype i thought the food was okay um the food was okay the food was okay the smoothie savannah didn't like it because she didn't know it had banana in it i fucking hate bananas she hates bananas like so much like i no. And did you know banana's fake? What? I'm a fake bitch. I, or, no, I'm not a fake bitch, <laughs> so I don't like fake fruit. Bananas aren't bananas. And did you know? What the fuck does bananas <laughs> aren't bananas mean? They're not. What does that mean? They've been, like, genetically modified for so many years. Like, the bananas oh, that we eat today okay. are not, like, OG original okay. gangster bananas. Like, I mean, that's a lot of fruits. But... Yeah, like, did you know a lemon isn't even real? Yeah. It's fake. Yeah. So I keep my circle small. You like like lemons? Not anymore. Not after finding out lemons are fake. (laughs) But no, yeah, I drank my smoothie and then I drank Savannah's too. (laughs) And then I learned that it was like 1200 calories after that. Like, well, they're like 600 calories each. And I was like, oh, that was a mistake. But it was so good. It actually was the best smoothie I've ever had. It was okay. Um, and then, yeah. And their s- chocolate chip cookies. I'm sorry, I have to cut in and say their chocolate chip cookies are the best chocolate chip cookies I've ever had in my entire life. It was expensive. I ended up paying, I think, $600 in Air One groceries for all three of us. But, you know, mommy pays when mommy takes on a trip. So, <laughs> um, yeah. But both of them are so grateful and sweet. Like, I love buying stuff for my team because they, like, are so appreciative of it. I bought my own cookies for my pack that I brought home. That's true. You did do that. <laughs> so we did that. And then all of a sudden, we get a text from my good friend, Candice. You guys probably know her, Candice Marino. I absolutely love her, the LA facialist. She is, like, she is an the angel. best human. Yeah, she's... Like, I just love her. Like, truly just love her. So she texts us, and she's like, Kathy Hilton has a party if you guys want to go. And we're like, what? 
what? <laughs> and she's like, it's wellness, like wear athleisure and like athletic wear. And we did not bring any of that on this trip. So I'm like, fuck, we have to go to Aloe. So we go to Aloe. I spin a rack there. Yeah. Um, and I don't know why I had this great idea. I was like, oh, we should all wear like the same color. We looked like a fucking click. We looked kind of silly. And like the whole time I was like, I just have a feeling like we're in L.A. Like no one's going to be wearing an aloe set to this party. Like people are going to be done up. But it was like bring a swimsuit because it was like cold, fl- cold flunge cold plunges and like infrared and like NAD. It was like all like wellness. So I was like, everyone's going to be an athleisure. That's what Candace said. We get there. Guys, <laughs> no one is an athleisure when we show up. Okay. Maybe like three people. And it's just like everyone from bachelor nation, like the bachelor or bachelorette type, type of people, real housewives. all the real housewives of Beverly Hills. I've actually did not know what Kathy Hilton looked like at all. And I thought she'd be like dressed to the nines, but she was literally wearing the t-shirt of like the company that was doing the NAD. So it was like this like molecule on a black t-shirt into this little black hat on. But I didn't know it was her till after we left her house. Um, and my mom was pissed. She's like, why don't you ask for a picture? And I'm like, you just don't do that at those kinds of events. You can't like fangirl. You can't like be like that. You gotta pretend you belong. Yeah. You gotta pretend. Even though we absolutely were not meant to be there. Did not belong. We did not belong at (laughs) all. So anyways, I'm like getting my NAD set up and I start taking a video and I'm like, oh, you know, like we're at Kathy Hilton's house. Like we shouldn't be here because we're like fucking losers and nobodies. And you guys, hours later, I start getting all these DMs like, babe, Kathy Hilton is behind you. She was right behind me in that entire video of me being like, we don't belong yeah. here. <laughs> like, we shouldn't be here, which we really, like, thank you so much, Candice, for the invite. Um, but, you know, we were, we're just nobodies. We're just little nobodies. So, but it was cool. Other than I thought I was going to die yeah, at no. a celebrity's house. Like, I actually thought I was drugged. So, we're doing the NAD. And we came a little bit later um, because we're going to wait for Candace because she had clients and stuff. And like, obviously, we don't want to go and show up without her because she invited us and like, we don't know anyone else. So, um, which was so sweet because like, she could have just invited me and been like, your team can't come. But she like was so inclusive with Maria and Tyler and like invited them too. And so it was a really cool thing. So, anyways, we get in line to do the NAD and like, people had already been there for like three hours. And so they're like, it's an hour wait, it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to do it. And we're like, fuck, okay. So we're just like meandering around the castle, literally. Yeah. It's a beautiful home, stunning. We're just walking around, you know, like just like looking around, seeing what to see. And then the guy was like, we can do yours, but we're going to like do it in 20 minutes. And like, I was like, that's fine. Like this thing's like $1,500 to get done and it's free. Um, and all the celebrities do it. So I'm like, why not? And also NAD is supposed to help with inflammation and it helps with your mitochondria. So I was like, this is going to be really good for like my neck. And so anyway, I didn't think like, I didn't know. I thought it would just be like a regular IV. You guys, I had a near death experience. I have never felt anything so fucking crazy. And it's because they did it so fast. Like they just rushed NAD through my body and I hadn't ate that day really either. Um, so I feel like that also played a part. And then Maria, like, <laughs> she gets scared because, okay, so when we were in L- or when we were in New York, we got, like, these little shroom chocolates that are legal, the Alice ones or whatever. And, like, we did those. And then she was straight up not having a good time with hers. And then so I'm just, like, always getting her to try, like, random drugs. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. I mean, legal. NAD is legal. It is a drug. Alice mushrooms, they sold those at Air One. Oh, yeah, they're legal. We should have bought them for her. No, she would have been so mad. She had a really bad time. So anyways, Maria's like super hesitant to do this. And I'm like, babe, like this is free. Like it's $1,500 and it's free. Like we're at Kathy Holden's house. Like take this opportunity and run with it. And just for the lore. Yeah. I'll be like, so you can say you did it and like whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, there probably won't be like weird. She's like, I'm scared. And I'm like, no, it's probably fine. You guys. She was right. It's because they did it so fast. Like, it's because they, like, rushed it into our system so so fast. It wasn't... I'll try it again, probably, maybe. No, I think it was really good. Yeah. But, like, when I t- when we talked to people after, they were like, oh, normally it takes me, like, an hour and a half to two hours. To do it? Like, that's how long they, like, yeah, no, they trip fucking... it. Like, tw- like, I'm telling y'all, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Like... No, it was, like, I literally was, like, <laughs> sedated, okay? So, all of a sudden, my face feels like someone's, like... 
grabbing it like the most intense pressure like breaking my jaw like it feels like someone's like grabbing my like face this. like this like literally like, <laughs> choking me and like I could not open my mouth like it felt so tight and hot and like crazy and then I start to feel it like in my like ovaries and like my vagina like my vagina started <laughs> feeling like crampy like not like period cramps like somewhat period cramps like in my ovary stomach area my vagina was like on fire and like tingling and I'm like oh my god do I have like inflammation in my pussy or something like I don't know because they say it goes to where you have the most inflammation and like this makes sense on my jaw area because I have I have to get master to Botox because I clench so much and I'm always like very tense. Um, and then my stomach was doing like backflips. Like I thought I was going to like shit myself. <laughs> like I was like I'm literally have no control over my body right now. Like I'm going to fucking have diarrhea. No, at Kathy Holton's house. And Savannah, like, like starts standing up and like, well, once well, like it was oh, so funny. Oh, I start funny. freaking out because I'm trying not to freak out and have a panic attack because I'm at, like, this fucking celebrity's house and there's celebrities all around us and, like, everyone's, like, so, like, chill and, like, cool and, like, whatever. And I, like, can't get my body to start feeling normal again. And so that was what was scaring me. I was like, am I going to be stuck like this forever? And, like, it's just, like, the most intense pain, you guys. Like, Probably like top seven most painful experiences of my life. Like not you only the anxiety be. I felt, but also just like it really fucked me up. And like Tyler was fine, which is so annoying. Like he had no issues. But one of the girls that was doing it like at the same time as us, like she looked like that commercial. Like when they're like, don't smoke marijuana or like you'll. That's so like funny. This. I just sent that to Adriel yeah. yesterday. That's, that commercial. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about where they're yeah, like. Where, they're, where it's deflated. Yes. Yeah. That is how this girl looked. And she was like, get it out, get it out, get it out. Yeah, she like she like lasted 10 out. minutes. Oh, yeah. they. She like ripped it out of her own arm. Wouldn't even la- wait for the person to take it out of her arm and like literally left the premises, like left the party. Like that's how bad it was. And yeah. honestly, in hindsight, like it was free. So like, you know, you do it too for free. But they should have definitely done like an hour drip instead of like flushing our poor little bodies with NAD like in 15 minutes and Maria had a really rough time you can tell Maria is not like a, she was just silent there like she was staring She's like, yeah it's just staring into nothing and I was like Maria's not okay right now I'll give you guys if you're watching the YouTube video this was me okay I'm like this no yeah this is what and I remember I I'm like I, literally pacing in like because there's so many you people. need to you be in the walk. mic oh you can't walk because there's so many people so I'm just like walking like this and I'm like like tweaking like literally I looked like a tweaking crackhead yeah so. and I like looked at Savannah like when she was about finished and I was she, Savannah was not doing okay I was like are you okay <laughs> what does my face look like when I'm not well how can you tell I don't know I mean I've known you for so long I like can... what is like can you like mimic it my facial expressions because I have a very I feel like I'm like I don't know yeah but I was like oh I was like are you okay and you were like fuck no this is horrible and then the nurse like <laughs> whipped her head around and was like are you okay and Savannah was like yeah I'm great I was like I remember <laughs> that yeah I was like she's, no it's so good yeah. <laughs> As she's like on the verge of having a panic attack like I feel awesome it was weird maybe you maybe you and Maria just like inflamed little bitches because like for me I felt the tenseness but like it wasn't that bad I was like I could do this for longer no, dude, like it was, I'm, I, mm-mm, buddy, no, <laughs> like I, no. And then I woke up the next day, both, Maria and I both felt like we had the flu. Like we were like shivering and felt horrible. And then we felt great. It's supposed to be like extremely good. I tried good. so many drugs in LA. I tried NAD. I tried Toradol. Oh yeah. Yeah. NAD is supposed to be extremely good for anti-aging. Yes. Because it helps like with your cells. Yeah. But... For fifteen hundred dollars a week, yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's why the rich and famous do it. So that's why we did it. I was like, you know, this shit's expensive. If if it'll even keep me young for an extra five days, I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, just another like minute to my life. Why yeah. not? Um, and then my shoulder flared up so bad on that trip too. And Katie is like one of the girls that spoke with us. She's so sweet. Love her. Her husband has like an injury similar to mine, and so and she's an NP. So she had like toward all like injection toward it all toward all. And I was like fiending and I was like, please give me some. And she was like, absolutely. So I go up there. She gives me a shot in the ass. I was healed for 72 hours. No, this was like, like Popeye getting spinach. Like, yeah. You were like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were... <laughs> it literally brought you back. Yeah. But so we went to Kathy's and then 
what happened after that. Sorry, guys, I need a little snack. I need to absorb some of the alcohol in my stomach from last night, which don't worry, we'll get to that story too. Um, so then, yes, we went to Kathy Holton's and then we went to do the rehearsal and then we got room service. Oh, yeah, that's right. And just like chit chatted. Oh, we forgot about the L'Oreal headquarters visit. Oh, yeah, that was pretty significant. <laughs> yeah. I think this weekend was just so long. That, like, oh, it felt like a month. Yeah. We were in LA. <laughs> but it was so fun. Okay, you take the lead. Okay, so um, we literally are, if you didn't know, the L'Oreal headquarters in LA is legitimately like a rock throw away from the airport. So, Oh my God. Also, do you know people were hating on me on that post? What post? Um, the one with me in front of L'Oreal. Why? Because I didn't know that. Um. I, I'm such an idiot. Look what I, I meant to say L'Oreal, but it changed it to Korean. <laughs> oh my God. Skin better is owned by Korean. It was to say L'Oreal. Someone commented what's happening. Oh, so a lot of people just were confused. Someone said, who are you and what have you done with the real Savannah? Oh. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I guess only people who know would know. I wouldn't know. Yeah. But so, yeah, basically, it's like a, an hour plus away from Beverly Hills, which is where we're staying. So we were just going to go straight to headquarters from getting off the plane. So we all kind of looked like shit. Yeah. Actually, Maria and I dressed kind of cute. It was just. <laughs> Thank you. I looked horrible. <laughs> um, and that man smelled and- so bad, that whole plane ride. And, oh yeah, that was really bad. Like uh, horrible. And so we our our driver Skin Better has a driver they sent to like bring us to headquarters and then wait for us and then bring us to our hotel, which was very sweet of them. And I'm sorry for looking like a freako eating this bagel on camera. Is it good? It yeah. doesn't even look like jalapeno spread. No, there's little pinos in there. There's little pinos. Is it the right amount of spice? Yeah. Okay, good. But there's no cute way to eat a bagel. These bagels are the best. They're so good. Um, so, so we're getting dropped off at L'Oreal, and Savannah, like, sh- she's tired. She did, hasn't really gotten ready. She's not feeling her best. She just sat behind the stinkiest man to ever live on this plane ride for three hours. It was really bad, y'all. Like, he was right in front of her, so I would just get whiffs occasionally, but for her, it was like the whole time because she was window and I was aisle. Maria oh, was in the was middle. Grow up. Yeah. So I would get like the occasional whiff and I'd be like, ooh. But um, so Savannah was excited to tour L'Oreal, but she was also excited to get to the hotel and cleanse My the sins body. off from the plane ride. It was so bad. And so she tells the driver like, he was like, oh, they told me to wait for like an hour and a half. And Savannah was like, we'll be out in 30 minutes. <laughs> we were there for like three hours. It's crazy, guys. They have like a concierge that the employees can use. What? Get it for mommy. I don't have a nail. Yeah, because you chew them off. Stop. <laughs> Is it gone? Yeah. Mm, that was tone smart. No, it wasn't. It was cream cheese. It was white. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. Okay. I love cream cheese. Mm. Um. So wait. concierge. Yes, yeah, so they have a concierge and like you can like every employee three times a month can have them like call and make a reservation do a return for them like get their dry cleaning picked up or like anything like do whatever you want mm-hmm. but this place was an old warehouse of some no, sort it was an old hangar oh airplane hangar and women were there yeah first women to be in an able base and they converted it to the off to the L'Oreal offices. And so it's like so unique and so cool. And we were there the week before Halloween. Mm-hmm. So they had that like decorated to the nines for Halloween, That's which so is cool. like drugs for Savannah. Savannah loves decorating. Like they had like these 13 feet tall skeletons. Yep. And one of them had eyes that moved and it really freaked me out actually. <laughs> but... <laughs> Yeah, and then they said that their cater, their, like, food was all Wolfgang Puck. And I was like, we had the food. It was giving, like, elementary school Pizza Hut. The pizza that I got, like, Wolfgang Puck Puck would fire all of them. (laughs) It 
was okay. No, it wasn't bad. It was better than other corporate foods I've had. And then they sure. have a garden where they let their employees harvest fresh fruits yeah. and vegetables. And the coolest thing to me was like they had this glass that was like had some mm. sort of tint on it. it was like and a so privacy like screen. a privacy screen. So there were t- meet it, there were conference rooms and with TVs on the walls and When you walk past the glass, it makes the TVs look like they're off. And then so like the door was open to the conference room and you could see the TVs on. And then when you walked right past to where the glass wall is, it's like the TVs are off. And I was like, that's so cool. Like, how do they do that? But yeah, we got a really great tour. We got to see all the different makeup companies and like all the employees just chugging along at work. It was a very like creative space. Mm hmm. What brands were there? Urban Decay. Or was Urban Decay not there? Yeah. Urban Decay. NYX. NYX. Is it NYX or NYX? I don't know. Hmm. Um, Elf? No. I don't know. Oh. (laughs) What's the one with the duckies? NYX. Oh, okay. There were some others. I cannot remember. But yeah, it was really Really, really good experience. And Rick and Adam were there. We love them both. They're like our Skin Better family. Our babies. We saw Adam's office. (laughs) Skin Better is still not quite decorated their section of the office yet, but Adam said they're working on it. So we're excited to see what they do. And then we got to go to the store, like the employee store. Yep, I was getting there. And that was like the main fun for Savannah and Maria is they... The L'Oreal headquarters has a L'Oreal store, so every single brand that L'Oreal has is in the store, but it's at, like, wholesale price. So 50% off everything, and they had, like, Prada, Beauty, like, candles, and all the fragrances, all the hair products, all the makeup, and so that was probably, like, an hour (laughs) of you guys going around and getting stuff. And so fun. I didn't get anything, but that's because I'm strict about my skincare. I don't use makeup. I like my fragrances, and I use what I use on my hair. I didn't need anything. You're perfect the way you are, baby. And then what happened? And then that's when... Then we went to the hotel. Yeah. Oh, we went to dinner with Crystal and Candice. Oh, yeah. We went to Novikov, Mm -hmm. I think. It was actually good. It was so good. And they're both so sweet. Uh, we already talked about Candace. Love Crystal. Crystal. Like, and it's so funny just... to me is that they're LA girls. Well, not born and raised LA, but like people give LA girls like, oh, they're mean girls. Honestly, Candace and what is that a fly? Mm-hmm. I'll eat it. Okay. Um, protein. <laughs> uh, do I have sesame seeds or poppy seeds in my teeth? No. Okay. Um. Yeah, what I was going to say was they're so genuine and kind and down to earth. And so I've met faker people in cities that are supposed to be down to earth. No, they are like... They're just so genuine because they know they're they're confident, strong, bad bitch women that support and celebrate other women. Like they're just so nice and just not competitive or weird or like passive. Like they're just nice friends, like just good friends. And like they're nice to... Not only you, but like, like my to, team, because yeah, I've had a lot us. of people that treat my team like the help, and that pisses me off. If you want to <laughs> piss me off, that's how you piss me off. Like those are my babies. Like yeah, no. you treat them with respect. Yeah, no, they're super sweet. And then we went to bed. Next day, Kathy Hilton, Allo, and then rehearsal, mm-hmm, sleep room service. And the next day was the master class. Yep, great. No notes. No notes. It went amazing. It was a good time. Um, We had fun. And then, okay, funny story, though. So I'm on stage and people are, like, asking, like, what I use to record my content. And I was like, oh, I use the Alex Earl light. And while I'm on stage, I guess Candace texted my phone because she was in the audience. Um, She also spoke, but at that time she was watching me speak. And she texted me and she goes, who is Alex Earl and do you want to go to her party tonight? So I get off stage and I check my phone and I'm like, what the fuck? So I go up to her and I'm like, yes, we want to go to Alex Earl's Halloween fucking party. Of course you want to go. And she was like, who is that? Like, I don't know who that is. And I was like, you're joking. 
And I mean, think about it though. Candace does like like A list celebrities, like old Hollywood, like movie stars, like people that like the Untouchables, like I mean, models, like all like the most famous people. Okay, she doesn't give a fuck about a little TikTok star. Like that to her is like she doesn't care about that. And like also, she's like been in LA forever, so like I don't blame her. Like for us, like obviously, like we're starstruck because we're from Dallas. And, like we don't have that kind of stuff. Like. My most famous clients are, like, Disney stars that are, like, younger or, like, NFL people, um, which is still really cool. Y'all are superstars. But you know what I mean? It's just different. Like, I'm yeah. not doing Kris Jenner or Kourtney Kardashian or, like— And, like, we don't watch sports. So, like— Yeah. I'm sure they're—I hu- know they're huge, but, like— No, I had no idea. One like, of ours—I won't name drop, but um, one of my clients is, like— very famous and I didn't know like I assumed he probably like played some sport or like coached something because he was just like huge and tall big um not fat like built and then like one day I was like what do you do and he like turned around and I was like you don't know really he's like I thought you were just playing it cool and I was like I am so sorry if this offends you but I have no clue who you are my dude like I don't know (laughs) and he was like I like it and now he like loves me because of it because I'm not like a fangirl but then when I told my husband he was like holy shit get an autograph and I was like absolutely not I'm not doing that (laughs) but um where was I going with that oh so like she wasn't like she's not impressed by that and like she has been in LA for so long that she's like done it like been at the scenes and like the parties and like you I know. just thought it was crazy that she had no idea who Alex yeah, was. Yeah, so we were, like, trying to beg her up. We were like, Candace, we'll cut our kidney out. Like, take us to Alec- Alex Earl's party. Like, we want to go. And I think she didn't realize how big Alex Earl was because she was like, oh, like, you guys can go. Like, I don't need to be there. But, like, her um, friend that had the connection was like, no, like, you have to be there if you're bringing people. Like, you yeah. can't just send them. So, anyways, um, we didn't go to Alex Earl's party, but... It's we didn't okay. have we Halloween really... costumes anyway. I did. I had my Britney Spears she costume ready. Have, she did back a Halloween costume. She was ready. As we were in LA, I was like, I know we're going to go and get into some trouble. Like, I'm excited. I wish we could have. I, I would have gone and bought something. Instead, what did we go do? We went and got perfume. Yeah, we went to Savannah. Was that that night? Yeah. Or, or did we do that after Kathy Hill? No, that was that night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. We went to Lucky Scent, their storefront, which is, like, my favorite place to buy perfumes from because they have all of, like, the niche fragrances and, like, it was so much fun. I really enjoy how they have everything organized because it's not by brand, which to me, like, makes – it takes so much longer to smell things, you know what I mean, to find what you like because every brand has all different Different notes and it's, like, you know what you like, so – the way they have it set it up is key. The scent bar in Hollywood. Yeah. And that's what I'm going to do with my fragrance stuff at my house, I think, is like have it by like feminine Notes. and like musky and like floral and then rose. Yeah. Like white florals, rose, Cute. all that. So I can just be like, oh, today, like I want to smell like a rose. And then I'll have like my 37 rose perfumes <laughs> yeah. to pick from. So yeah, we did that. And then we went to go get some Mary Jane. Which was fun. And then I had to, like, fucking pull out cash because I only take cash. Yeah. And then I harassed. My favorite thing to travel is, I actually do this, like, in Dallas all the time, too. I just did this last night, which I'll hear that story soon. Is to fuck with people. It's so much fun. Like, I have just gained so much confidence in myself, like, the last year. And I've always been silly goofy, but, like, I just love making people so uncomfortable and I love just like like I'm not gonna just sit quiet in the back of an uber like I am going to like I wanted to say rhythm up but that's not what I meant yeah like I just like to like have a conversation yeah I mean it, it literally does not matter who it is no it's just so fun to talk you will to talk to a table because like, remember when we were at the Mexican Oh my god! You I went had up to so like these pain. old ladies. Like, it was old like, men. <laughs> no, but there was also like their wives, right? Oh no, that was because that girl was a fan. Oh. And she told Anne in the bathroom that she was like a fan of mine, and then uh, I went over there to say hi to her. What I went up to was like this table of old men because they're old, that, and I was yeah. like, y'all are old and probably have like anti-inflammatories and like arthritis medicine. Like, do you guys have anything? <laughs> they didn't. No, Spoiler they only alert. made a sexual comment towards yeah, me. Yeah, they only said they had blue pills. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was like, all right, not what I need. But yeah, I like talking to people. So I like, you know, talking to the Uber. And he was actually really nice. Um, My favorite was one of our Ubers was taking us through WeHo. And he was just saying, he was like, 
I wish being gay was a choice because if it was, I would be gay. The gays like have 72. so much fun. Yeah, and he was uh, he was a teacher for like kids with special needs, which was so sweet. And then he was like, sure, you don't want me to drop you off here and telling Tyler he'd get like eaten alive by all like the gay guys. Yeah, he was like, if I dropped you off right here, you'd be eaten up in two minutes. Yeah. I was like, okay. <laughs> Yeah, but it was really fun. And he then, was like, they go from Thursday night till Sunday night. They are, I, he, was, he was just like, I, he was like, I'm in awe of them. I don't know how they do it. That's so funny. But yeah, so then we did that. And then we went and got room service that night, right? Yep. We got like a fuck ton of room service. And then we all just like kikied for a bit. And then we were supposed to fly out the next morning. Yep, but we were like, nah, we're staying. So then the next day, we go to breakfast with Candace. Maria left. Yeah, Maria had to go because her and her um, boyfriend had their one year. So she could have stayed if she wanted to. She wanted to stay. Yeah, we're cooler. Sorry, I, Jason. I knew she wanted to stay, but she was like, he already planned stuff. I got to go. Yeah. So then we're like, we just want like a fun day to like go shop till we drop and like look around, which honestly I shouldn't have because did y'all know the sales tax is like 11%. I think it's like 9.5 or something or something. No, mine said 11% on my receipt. That's crazy. So, yeah. Anyway, wouldn't have bought it, but then I was like, I'm not going to be the broke bitch. I was like, I wanted these shoes and they from um, St. Laurent and they're really cute. And then I'm like, okay, price isn't horrible. I go up and then they show me the total, which is like $700 more than what it should have been. And I was like, God damn it. But I just get anxiety and I don't like to be weird. So I was like, whatever, I'll get them. I'm just going to wear them until I die. Um, and then, oh, first we went to brunch, though, before we shopped, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so we're sitting at brunch. We went to the Great White because Candace knows I love sharks, and it was, like, sharky kind of themed. And we're sitting there, and there's these two, like, beautiful Italian men sitting behind us, which I didn't notice because I was kind of turned catty corner to them like that. And, like, if Tyler was there, like, I was there talking to the table. And um, Candace had her dog. And so the guy's like, oh, I want, can I pet your dog? Blah, blah, blah. And we're like, yeah, for sure. And he's like, I'm about to get a dog. And I'm going to get this dog today. If you guys want to come to my place, come see it. Like, I have a house in where? The hills. The hills. Okay. I have a house in the hills. And so we're like, yeah, yeah, maybe, like, you might come by. He's like, yeah, we're having a barbecue. Like, come by. And we're like, okay, cool. Um, possibly. And we think they're gay, like very much think they're gay because they are just very well put together and dressed very nice. And like straight men don't dress like that. But I guess guys in LA that are straight guys like dress like that. But they're like, also European. Yeah. So European fashion's a little more flamboyant. So anyways, we're like, okay, slay, we're gonna find Tai Tai a man. And um, yeah, that was really that. And we got to see the house, which was really, really pretty. But and they yet, lied about the dog. Yeah, there was no dog. And I was afraid of them. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. They like, were like, oh, you want a glass of rosé? And they poured me a glass and I didn't take a sip out of it. Because I was like, this is, I've seen Taken too many times. I'm not doing this right now. Yeah. <laughs> but we were with our friend. Um, and her friend. We were with Candace. We were with Seema, which is a friend of all of ours now. Yeah. I love her so much. She's actually like not really in the aesthetics industry she's a nurse who takes like pr does private how do you explain it she takes care of people when they post have surgery post like plastic surgery so like i guess she's in the like aesthetic industry but yeah she's like a caregiver so if someone gets like a bbl or like breast implants or lipo or She'll, whatnot like, make sure they have water pills like they like take a shower yeah stuff like that mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. which in la must be a stable job yeah, and they put them in like a five star hotel. Yeah, they stay in like a like a really nice hotel. But so yeah, we did that, and then we went shopping, and we went and saw Candace's spa again, which was so beautiful. So so beautiful. She did a so wonderful pretty. job. Stunning, gorgeous, beautiful. Especially after everything she went through to uh -huh. get there, when she said it took her two years, I'm sure she was like has lost hair mm -hmm. and years off of her life from that process. But it all worked out. It's beautiful. She said that she could do Savannah, a facial for Savannah and I, but we were like, don't want to make her work, you know? Mm -mm. So we nope. just hung out. And then that night we went to catch steak. 
So good. Me, Savannah, and Seema. Because Candace had another dinner with one of our other friends, but it was like more of a business dinner. So we went out and, um, you know, we had fun. Yeah. And then we went to another okay, place. Okay, so this is a cool story. So Candace's architect, which we won't name drop, but her architect is also like a big nightlife guy, which is really cool. And he's just like a very sweet guy. Like everyone just loves him. Just like a very generous man. And so she was like, okay, if y'all want to go out, like we need to ask him because it's going to be packed tonight. Like it's it's Halloween weekend. It's a Saturday night. Like mm-hmm. we don't have an in anywhere. Yeah. And so she asked him and like coincidentally, he was actually at Catch, like at the restaurant. So no, it was so funny. Like Candace <laughs> showed up after her dinner to meet up with Seema, Candace, uh, Seema, Savannah and me. We were just at the bar having drinks after waiting for Candace to finish up. And meet up with us. And she was like, oh, let me text him and see what he's doing. He's literally, like, in the dining room where we were just sitting. It's It's like, what are the odds of that? And then the story gets even weirder, okay? So, like, the two Italian... Well, actually found out one's German and one's Italian. And crazy guys, they modeled for Ralph Lauren. Well, one does. One retired because he's a little bit older. Mm -hmm. And they're, like, billionaires that build homes. Well, the one who retired is. Yes. He has 200 horses, he told me. Yeah. So a sleigh, but apparently not gay. So the house was super cool. It was a really cool house. I liked wanted to see the house just so I could get like inspo for mine, and because like it's no also inspo in that house. It's though. way too modern for yeah. me. <laughs> but they had a really cool swimming pool that like you, there is um skylights. Skylights are like I guess you call it a hole, a window, and so like when you're in the gym working out, if you look up, you can see people like whoever's in the pool, you can look up and see them, which was really neat. But anyway, so then we go to the nice guy, which is like a club. I wouldn't even call it a club. It's like a restaurant that has a DJ. Like it's one of those places where it's a restaurant and then it like the later it gets, the more it turns into like a bar. Yeah. Night Mm -hmm. time club vibe. So then we're there and then all of a sudden like the guys appear and I'm like, how the fuck did they like, is this such a weird coincidence? Like how did they find us? Because like we left and we're like, bye, okay, see you never kind of situation um once we found out that he didn't have a dog (laughs) oh yeah that was the craziest part is he was like oh no the dog's in florida and we were like i bet there's no fucking dog like he like showed a picture but like we were we were were we're gonna get murdered but then we were all of us like we're like okay he's like way too like attractive and wealthy to like want to murder us yeah you know what i mean Sure. Like, he could get anyone he wanted. Like, there's no reason to drug us, and we're not even that good looking <laughs> compared to, like, what he could get. That's true. It was an interesting time. L.A. was crazy. It was crazy. But, yeah, they showed up to the nice guy, and then we left, mm-hmm. went home. Mm-hmm. He was trying to get us to come back after, at, like, 2 a.m. I was like, absolutely not. I did a marriage. We were like, no, Candace brought us home. We're like, bye. And then we left the next morning. Yeah. It was fun. We didn't want to leave. We didn't want to leave. It was a good time. We had a really good trip. It was a really good time. It really sucks the restrictions that estheticians have in California. Because, mm-hmm. like, honestly, at this point, it's the only thing holding us back. I know. I wouldn't be able to do any of my fun stuff, though. No, you would have to go back to massaging and... Not with this herniated disc, buddy. <laughs> but yeah, and then I think that's it. That's all the fun things that happen, right? We did everything. Yeah. I think that's it. Hmm. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed our LA recap. We love you. We love you. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Okay, Echo. Fuck you. <laughs> we hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. We hope you had a great drive to work or a great drive home whenever you're listening. But that's a wrap. And we'll tell you guys all about something else next time. As we normally (laughs) do. (laughs) Okay, bye, y'all.